Take a look at this. That is insane. To put this in perspective, that right there is my hand, and those are tails from bluefin tuna. For those of you guys who aren't in the loop, bluefin tuna is one of the main target species here in New England. It's like the pinnacle fish. It's what everyone really wants to catch. They get up to like 800, 900, sometimes even reported to be like a thousand pounds. Incredible fish. So with the big fish mentality in mind, in starting today's video behind these enormous tails, I figured this would be a good time to let you guys know that we are chasing after big fish. We're currently pulled up at Straight Wharf in Nantucket, Massachusetts. We're gonna be fishing with, again, Ray and Elliot, but this time we're gonna locate and chase after some very big fish. Hopefully, if things work, fingers crossed again, this is fishing, but the conditions seem right. It's calm today, it's warm. We're really blessed with some perfect conditions, so I am, I'm pumped. I think these guys are even more pumped because they know what these conditions mean, but I'm pumped because I'm about to step into something completely unreal, completely out of my element, and I'm about to learn. That's just plain and simple, the only way to put it. So anyway, stick with us, stay tuned, and let's go catch some big fish. Oh, oh, big one. Put this whole friggin' thing on there. It's one going north. We're rigging up next level Mako casting gear. Dude, this is this is stuff people have never even done before. With spinning spinning guides on this crazy tuna rod that's been rigged with you know 350 yards, 130 on a spinning rod, nicest spinning reel you can get. Dude, this lure, this is a freaking lure. I mean, I'm gonna put a strip of bait. It's gonna be this big. A mako's gonna show up, and we're gonna cast this thing and freaking jig up a eight-foot mako. It's gonna go berserk. It's gonna be the coolest out there, man. We're gonna make it happen. This is gonna be next level. So one thing I love about this game that Elliot and Ray are all about is just it's it's largely based off of previous knowledge, but it's experimental. I always like trying new things, pushing the envelope, trying something new. These are perfect dudes to link up with and just kind of do something that really doesn't get done a whole lot of, hence why I'm holding this right here. It's a, it's a, it's a tuna bait, right? It's a freaking tuna something. It's, it's, it's a uh, thing. It's a thing, man. It's a thing. It's California, we don't know much about And it's it. got this part on it, and then you got these little wings, and then there's just, this. Just not to mention there's gonna be three feet of fish <clears> hanging off. Yeah. <clears throat> Look at that. That's no joke. So basically, I can explain it, but how it's gonna go is the rod's gonna go off. Sure. Everyone's gonna freak out. We're right. not gonna know how to, do we'll set the hook, and then Ray's gonna be super chill, he'll be screaming, I'll be screaming while yes. we're running around, and we'll just sort of eventually make it happen. I'll just, we'll, it just, it just flows. It's chaos. I'm zip tying the bait onto this. Just, this is the most ornate system you'll ever see. A little more complicated than putting a uh, worm on a hook, but it's pretty freaking effective though, just just wait. Like, I know this sounds crazy, and oh, you're gonna bait in the water, just like, just wait. Dude, big sharks wanna eat big fish. What he says? <laughs> yeah. It's a little tighter. You okay. Got it. Okay. He's, he's got oh, okay. It. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, the, sh the shark just ate the. Okay. Okay. So uh, just let me let's, know. Uh, let's flip it now. Let's flip it now. Flip it now. He's confirmed, man. Yep. Start cranking down. Okay. He's right here. Okay. He doesn't realize. Like, like, no, he has no idea what's up. Oh, there, there he goes. See you, back. See you later. That's a shark. <laughs> Worst direction you could possibly get. Do you want me to go or no? There he goes. There he goes. Woo! <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Look at that dog fight just get peeled. 
Oh, that, this is seriously like one of the biggest saltwater fishes I've ever hooked. Oh, that was so sick. Literally just hand fed a shark. No, no, this thing is. Okay. That's not good, eh? Wait. This, this is not good. Looking pretty hairy. Okay, yeah, yeah, we got problems. We got problems. All right. <laughs> so sick. Unreal. Um, this was a lazy one. Yeah. This wasn't a freak out. Yeah, no. Um, Very intense though, man. Give him a little tap. A little tap. Boop, boop. <laughs> right, I touched my fish. Let this guy go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, I mean lazy, but it was just wait, you know? It's good to get started somewhere. Yeah. Definitely don't want to yeah, just throw me right in the ring. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was fun. Yeah. See you, bud. And there he goes. <laughs> that was a sweet little warm up round. Warm up round. On a nice blue shark. Really pretty fish. I've never seen one in person, never caught one. Got the little officially land. I think it's when you touch their nose, right? That counts when you officially land. Good, you, get a pet, you get a little pat on their nose, and then it's like, ding, you've caught one. But that's a start. That fish is coming up. It was eating the flies. Interesting than chum, yeah. so we had to just get started somewhere. This is an interesting setup, man. Wow. Like I shouldn't be worn out because that was not a serious fight, but I'm a, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little I'm a little worn out. It's been a while since I hooked a big fish. Thank you, dude. That was fun. Hell yeah. yeah. Just a so cool. Warm up round. That's, just just the tip one. of the iceberg. <laughs> You should have been crushed under the guard. <laughs> I'm just dying, dying. <laughs> I didn't want to hook it at all. I'm just going to snip when I can. Dude. dude, this wire comes in. I'm sorry, but. It's all good. It's all good. I'm so glad I didn't have to reel that yeah, one in. Yeah, anytime, man. Let me know. Just here to keep the. You bass guys, you guys were you. saying like blue sharks are like timid. What the f is a everything else gonna do? I watched that and like I was getting nervous. That was a lot of drag. That was a. Dude, that was, I had that that was an animal. All the way up. That rod was bent. animal. Yeah, I haven't seen that rod bend like that. No. Just came up dog. Yeah, he's on, he's on, he's on. Here, Judge, hit him. Hit him. Now, there we go. There we go. Oh, he's off again. That's Am I hitting too early? No, it's Mako, is what it is. It's a little, is it seriously? It's a little Mako, It's a little Mako. Yeah. Well, that's sick, though, eh? Yeah. Get this oh, one up in there. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, dude, yeah, dude, let, let him go, let him drift back, do Mako. Drift back. Dude, dude, that's Mako activity right oh. there. Dude, that'd be so sick. Probably like a little 70 inch Yeah, maybe smaller. 60 inch Mako. They're little bites, they're like, whatever. Yeah! Hit him, hit him, hit him! Yeah! Woo! Yeah, you're good. Yes, dude, so sick. <laughs> this rod is tinier than the last one. Thanks, Elliot. It's <laughs> up in the front. It's little, whatever it is, man. We want it to be a tiny little make That would be such a sick tag, eh? Oh, that'd dude, be 60 sick. inches to tag him. We see it and it does. I mean, sometimes, like, you just don't realize what's going on, and then. It could be big, or? It, you, it's just got to. There's. Oh, Four species feels. it could be. Just the fact that it hit it that many times and didn't inhale it, dude, really makes me feel like it's not that is so cool. David a little tighter, yeah. We're out here fishing for sharks, obviously, but the main prize is Mako. Elliot's on this uh, tagging program right now. He's got two tags left. And we'd really like to tag a little Mako so he can get some more data on it. It doesn't feel like a giant fish. I mean, look at this rod. This is like a little, little Therese. 
feels feels small. And if it's a small mako, that would be like even better than a giant blue. Wait, makos were just listed as endangered, and we're trying to get these satellite tags in to understand where they're doing, get better laws in place. We're gonna know in a second. It could be a little blue. We don't know. We don't know. But we're. Uh... Oh, there he is. What is it? Blue shark, right? Is it blue? Damn, it's gonna work. Yeah, I'll jump back there. Wow, it's not that small at all. No, he's big, bro. That was so weird. Why are these blues not fighting for me? Here I am fishing with a crappie rod, and this thing's like already to the boat. I think I'm just getting lucky. Well, wasn't the little maker we were hoping for, but yeah, still a blue, my great. second blue shark ever on a light action rod. That was fun. Like, I think maybe he's just like. Yeah, he's just checking us out, dude. Seriously. Really? I'm not. These little rods are awesome. It's like sometimes the more pressure you put on them, the more they figure out. Yeah, that might have been what it was. That was a pretty good fish, man. When it came up, I was like, I thought it was going to be a little fish. Well, like I can put a little more. 130 on there. Shark fishing in New England. This is dope. This is way different than the stuff we have been doing. Make striper fishing on the jetty look like. I don't know, fish tank stuff. Ooh. Just coming up. And there she, she goes. Look at one right here. Yeah. Oh. Hey, you. That's a big shark. Huge, dude. Oh, my God. Look, 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 look right there, right there. So he's got fish, three or four fish around him, see it? Let's go, yeah, come on, let's go. Oh, do I want to fight it? No, not really, but I, I'll just do it just because. Shark fishing to me has always just been kind of like cast out there, sit and wait and wait and wait, but this is like, throw a chum bucket in, let a blue fish dangle, nice fillet, and they just come up. We've seen like weeks of researching exactly where to oh, go, yeah, all no, right here. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the guys, saddle thing. Guys, not, not to dumb it down or anything, but you know, this is this is just insane. It's just different for me to get that saturated around sharks. I mean, they're swimming around us right now. Ooh, I'm gas. It's like a good kind of gas. Yeah, they do. I'm, we're gonna get you into it. What's the up? Kind of drop it down a little bit. Oh, there he is, right there. Is that him? Okay. Just about there. And once he picks it up, you gotta let. What's your drag at? Uh, it's pretty tight. Pretty loose. Uh, no, that's, that's cool. That's tight. Good. Look at that. That looks. All right, good. All right. So right he's gonna swim up. You'll see him swim up. Once he, you'll watch him eat it. Here he comes. He's coming, guys. Guys, watch guys, guys. It, watch him eat it. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying. I'm just not so. Is that that's cool or not? It's all good. Oh wow. Good, man. Big ass. So, dude, you definitely let him run with it for a while. Okay. Bump. You want to open my my bail? No, no, no. He's in. No, no, he's no. ate it. He ate it. Give me open my bail. Couple, couple seconds. Couple seconds. Oh God. Go oh God. Oh God. All right, flip it. Flip it. Flip it. Crank tight. Oh, oh God. Oh, there you go. There he goes. Sick. <laughs> that was so dope, bro. <laughs> Sight fishing, freaking blue sharks. There he's right there. That was so wild. This guy's got two or three of oh, those pilot fish. fish yeah. So right now, you guys, I'm not even fighting the fish. It's just swimming. Truly has no idea it's hooked yet. This is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. Sight fishing blue shark. This is mental. Tighter, listen. There we go. There we go. That's it. That's it. Look at that. He's <laughs> going ham. That was cool. Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't like that. <laughs> He's way less now. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Oh, he was on the top. Oh, no, he's still gone. Okay, cool. Tired yet? Oh, I'm getting there. This is such a sick scene, man. Pitching baits to sharks. Like, what the hell? Pick out the one you want. Yeah, pick out. Oh, I want that one. Hey, can I get that one? I'm sweating. Oh, we're getting there. I can see your fence. Wow, look how long this guy is. So these are very. Oh, he's got another hook in his mouth. 
Back she goes. That's three blue sharks. Three more than I've ever caught in my entire life. Thank you, dude. Yeah, dude, anytime. I just want to explain with the hooks. Like, dealing with a blue shark next to the boat, it's an absolute nightmare. It's probably more damage for the shark. If it's than, not the hook, it's yeah. your hand. And if it's not the hand, it's something exactly. to do with their mouth. Exactly. So we use special hooks that are high carbon. They, they are designed to rust out very quickly. So no. so rather than trying to rip it out with yeah. the barb, and it's, so that just literally dissolves. Like, think of like iron or something like that. Iron yeah. just I mean, the, there are special just hooks made to, they're, they're dull after one time of using them. I get one day out of these hooks. They, it's that fast. <sighs> hey. Man. Regardless, that was rad. Let's go. All right, boys, this is it. We are back at the wharf. It was kind of a lull in the afternoon. The, the morning bite, the blues were going absolutely ape. It was hectic. We got insane underwater footage. Like, I have to remind myself, I literally caught my biggest fish ever today. Like, that really didn't register me until we got back to here at this point in time. We were chasing after Makos. That's kind of the main goal because Elliot is tagging some of these Makos. Let me see, because I've actually never really you know seen them. So these are the tags that we would have put on the Makos if we were to catch them. Yeah, so Mako sharks were recently listed as endangered species and uh, we're trying to figure out more about what they do, how they move, as the season kind of wraps up here, they're gonna migrate. We wanna find out you know, where they go and if it intersects with commercial fishing, long liners and stuff like that to better protect them. So. My goal is over the summer has just been to put these these guys in. These are $2,500 satellite tanks, and they uh, they transmit you know everything the shark's doing in real time, and you can find out so much about it. Literally them. get to track their movements if yeah. unfortunately they do get caught in nuts, right. which is like super unideal. But that's just but like that's it. You so you clip it to the what top then dorsal? Yeah, it goes basically yeah. through the dorsal here and hangs and, and trails so behind sick. transmitting, and it's just like you know it's 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 hard data to prove you know, scientifically what these sharks are doing to put laws into place to better protect Not them. a lot of people are doing it too. Yeah, and yeah. like, as you know, it's like a very hard shark to find and catch and yeah. deal with. Today they like, swerved us. No one, you know, we've we've done it. We just, we've gotten them in and, and in two years, biologists haven't been able to do it. And, and just last week we started getting them in and they're just so hard to find. And with the hurricane just coming through, it gets kind of changes the way everything moves. But mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. hey, We'll keep working on it, it and make it happen. That'll, that will be put on a Mako soon, yeah. very soon. So there it is, that is actually, like Ellie was saying, that was kind of the goal for today, is to put that tag on a Mako. That was really cool. First there, Blue Shark, biggest fish today, my biggest fish ever, it's so weird to think. And it was it was caught in such a neat way, visually seeing those fish, pitching to them, getting them to eat, and then just feeling the drag toot onto the abyss. That was so dope. But again, if you guys want to fish with Elliot, and with fish in Nantucket, be sure to check the link down below. He guides for sharks on the beach. It's a really cool process. He's really passionate about this, as you saw with the tagging. And uh, you can be a part of like the whole cycle of you know making sure these sharks go back in the water they live and they breed and continue the population, so on and so forth. You guys kind of get the point. But anyway, I'm Peace Not signing out. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see some more saltwater content, maybe some more shark content, just let me know. Thumbs up and a comment really get me going. Going, get me pumped and we will get back on it but uh, anyway I'm peace and out signing out thank you guys so much for watching and as always folks keep fishing never stop